Hey Harry Potter fans, welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. I'm your host, Peter Kenneth, for part three of the rare books in my collection. If you have not seen the previous two parts, those are on translations. Part one was the big six rare Harry Potter books, the six hardest books to find translation-wise in the Harry Potter wizarding world. And part two was all of the other rare translations that are really hard to find. Part three today, we will be looking at rare books from the United Kingdom, which include um, first printings and that sort of thing. And, oh. I forgot to pull a book, actually, that I need to show in this video. And I lost my train of thought. Oh, and US books too. So like um, proofs, uh, advanced reader copies, first printings, that sort of thing. Okay, let's start with the American books because I like the British books more because they are more rare and more exciting in my opinion. So we'll start with American first and then go to the British books. Let's start with the advanced reader copies or uncorrected proofs, the US editions. There is an estimated 3,000 of each printed. So here is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the first ever printed copy of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. On the back it has some information about the book as well as some publishing information. It says that there will be 30,000 of the first printing of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone printed. That number may have changed to 50,000 after this was printed and sent out. However, that hasn't been confirmed. So, there is an estimated 30 to 50,000 first printing copies of the first uh, Harry Potter book, the hardcover. Next up is the uncorrected proof or advanced reader copy or advanced reader edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And here is some printing information on the book. Here is the uncorrected proof or advanced reader copy of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. You may notice that this has a bunch of diamond patterns on it. Why does it not have cover art? Because Mary Grand Pre had not finished the cover art by the time this was published. Do you know why? Because they changed the publishing date of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. They made it earlier than it was expected to be published. So Mary Grand Pre had not finished the cover art yet. So they used this, uh, this diamond pattern on the advanced reader edition. Here is the publishing information on the back cover. As you can see, there were 500,000 copies of the first printing printed. That's a lot of, of, uh, of books. And just like the British uncorrected proofs, they only did the first three books because Harry Potter had taken off and they needed to protect the stories after Prisoner of Azkaban. If you wanna see those British uncorrected proofs as well as other ultra rare Harry Potter books in my collection, you can check it out right up here. A lot of people ask me how I store and take care of my books. I will do a detailed video on that in the future. However, very quickly, I use comic book bags, guys. They are archive quality, they are acid free, they keep the books protected from excess moisture as well as dust. So if you want to protect your rare Harry Potter books, I suggest you get a few packages of comic book bags. All right, next up is the first printing of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Any um, US book collectors consider this the holy grail of US Harry Potter books. It is a lovely book indeed. On the back cover, you want to look for a quote by The Guardian, not Publishers Weekly. That shows that it's a first state jacket, as well as JK Rowling on the spine, not just Rowling, which was changed after the fourth printing of this hardcover book of Sorcerer's Stone. Check out one of my previous videos, which talks about the value, as well as how to spot first printings of the American books. Here is the copyright page that one in the number line that goes from 10 to one shows that it is a first printing. This book also happens to be signed by J.K. Rowling on her very first U.S. tour, but I'm not gonna show you until the video about the signed books in my Harry Potter book collection. A book unsigned in this fine, unread condition would sell anywhere in the $18 to $2,000 range. The last rare American Harry Potter book that I wanna show you is co-owned with my friend Carly from All the Pretty Books. Look at this thing. A lot of you probably have never seen this before. This is a proof of the paperback Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. How cool is that? It's this bright white proof. Spine has some information as well, but on the inside, it's the book. We paid like 150 bucks for it or something. 
All right, let's move into the British books, the British rare books, starting with Philosopher's Stone paperback first printing. This is one of 5,150 copies that were printed. You see that number line there, 10 down to one, which shows it is a first printing. So this book is rare in general, but this one is unread, which is pretty awesome. Now I have a video on the first printing of Philosopher's Stone that you can check out, but I wanted to point out these errors as I do in most videos when I show this book uh, because they are very important errors when um, determining if your book is authentic or not because a lot of these have been faked. You can check out that video for more information on that. But the errors you want to make sure your book has if you're looking to purchase it. Witchcraft and wizardry in this paragraph need to be switched. It should say wizardry and witchcraft. And here, Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher is misspelled. It is missing an O. So you want to have both of those errors if you are looking to purchase a first printing hardcover or a paperback of Philosopher's Stone. The next one is a second printing of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. As you can see, there's the number line, the second printing number line. And you will also notice that the errors have been changed as only the first printing has those back cover errors. Next up is the hardcover third printing of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This was the first to be featured with a dust jacket. There we have the copyright page. Nobody knows how many were printed, but it is definitely a scarce and hard to find book. Next up is a fourth printing. This is actually a signed copy. And again, I will show you all the signed Harry Potter books in the my signed Harry Potter books in my collection video or whatever I call it. Actually, just for kicks, I'll just show you. Ooh, this is a 1998 signature. But here is that copyright page of the fourth printing of Philosopher's Stone. Now the fourth printing is a lot less rare than like the third printing, for example, because they printed a bunch of them for this two book box set, this Bloomsbury box set. So the book holds some value, but it's not as rare as a third printing. Both of the books in this, this set are signed, which again, I will show you on my future books in my collection signed video. That box set is a good segue into our next book, which is the first printing of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It is estimated that there are 10,500 copies printed, though it hasn't been confirmed. And there is that lovely copyright page. Next up is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, first printing, first state. Why first state? I'll tell you in a second. But let's talk about the first state first. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. The back of the jacket is signed by uh, Cliff Wright, the illustrator of uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban. Let's take a look on the inside because there are two things that tell us whether the book is a first or second state. As you can see, the number line 10 down to one shows it is a first printing, but the book's copyright is is to Joanne Rowling. It should say J.K. Rowling because that's her author name, J.K. Rowling. And at page seven at the word burnt, you see that the text has dropped. This paragraph dropped down after this word. This was also changed at the second state. So what they did was they stopped the book mid print run to correct those errors. So here is the second state copyright page. You see JK rolling there, but you still see the 10 down to one number line, which shows it is a first printing. And on page seven, paragraph has been fixed. Now there is a lot of confusion when it comes to print run of these books. Um, some have said 1500, some have said 3000. I'm more of a believer in the 3000 range, three to 5000 range because of how many show up at auction, whether it be live auction or eBay, um, how many are available in the, the marketplace, Ava books, for example. So there are definitely more than most collectors think, but it is still a very scarce and hard to find book. Something interesting about the second state of Prisoner of Azkaban is a few years ago, five to six years ago, some found an unopened box of these books, which unfortunately dropped the value significantly. They had, I think maybe 20 for sale. Uh, not at one time, they sold them one, one after another, but it really flooded the market and ended up dropping the value of these books a lot. This is one of those books because uh, it was really cheap. It was like a hundred bucks. The market is finally starting to recover after that box that was found. But yeah, you could, you could purchase one for a hundred to $200 and the market was packed with 
mint unread condition copies because of this box that was found. Next up are the deluxe editions of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and Prisoner of Azkaban. All first printings, there were 7,000 of these printed. I think it was 10 to 12,000 of Chamber of Secrets printed. This is the most valuable of the three when you get to Goblet of Fire through Deathly Hollows. So many were printed that they aren't even considered rare. But these are all the first printings of these deluxe editions, Prisoner of Azkaban being the most valuable and the most rare of the three, followed by Philosopher's Stone and then Chamber of Secrets. Last but not least is this very cool book that I also co-own with Carly from All the Pretty Books. It is a dummy copy. So before the book was released, they sent these books out to bookstores so that they can test them on their shelves. And on the inside, there is nothing written. It's completely blank. Well, that wraps up all three parts of the rare books in my collection series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or what you saw today or Harry Potter book collecting, please leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Send me an email, thepottercollector at gmail.com, or you can reach me on Instagram at thepottercollector. Now it is time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?